Hi, good morning everybody. I got a request to do this room lesson learned. A look into the fifth phase of the incident response framework lesson learned. Remember this is follow up to the the, the four rooms, the preparation, identification and scoping, and then the threat and containment and threat internal containment and then eradication and remediation. So these are the four steps. Now we are in the last one is of course after all in done and everything and <coughs> that's why the rooms they uh, tell you now these three or four rooms they request is uh, because some of the question here you can some they have relation here especially uh, for example this not this one yeah uh, the dropper and also the Jenkins server uh, because you might have some uh, reference to this room too to the Swift admin. So, okay, let's start this room. So basically, of course, here, listen, and this phase, this phase of IR and send the response process is essentially a sit down with the data that you have gathered through the IR process and learning gained from them. So basically, after you do all of this preparation, all of that, and get all the information, like our last one here, then it's the uh, no, no, you give us a recap. Of course, this is the recap for preparation. The preparation room is basically people touch on a concept of CCIRT team. They have technology capability, all of that. This is the room should go there. Then identification is scoping emphasizes place and the importance of feedback loop between identification and scoping. Uh, the importance of the process being intelligence driven. This is the room for this identification and scoping. Uh, the next one is uh, no containment. Then have radiation remediation recovery. This is the of course the uh, the one when you start solve the problem is the emphasis in place the fact that remediation is part of ongoing IR process. Uh, containment phase limited damage. Of course, we limit the damage threat actor. All of that. This is the phase eradication or remediation. So, what phase of IR process focus on people document? This is the first one usually, the, the, the preparation, that's the one focusing documentation, all of that. So you can uh, more detail, of course, in the, in the room itself. <coughs> Sorry. What phase of the IR process is reliant on the effectivity and synergy of all other phases? Uh, yeah, this is like the, before the last one. The the whole things like already uh, synergy of all our phases. So after we do all of them, we come to irradiation remediation. Look into the fourth phase of NC response framework: eradication, remediation, and recovery. La quatrième phase. Okay, okay. That's so or no. Now remember Swift spend and sent response because all these rooms they, they the scenario is a company called uh, Swift uh, the Swift admin remember we did the recent room and they were compromised Jenkins server now what we have here uh, this is more summary what happened in the in the phases in identification and scoping phase in this one we got all of this information the, so basically what we have an audited endpoint protection Derek Marshall which is not this is I think the the four work rooms uh, phishing incident there was uh, an, an email to SOCAMS that's why his uh, password I think later on was got then multiple phishing domain regarding the above incident then in light of incident, it has been found that all the stems found and patched will be in form of missing email security. This is, I think, uh, which part we discover this? Um, I think before this, uh, I forgot where is it. I think, uh, yeah, uh, the drop one. Um, then an updated SUD uh, spreadsheet of doom 
has been crafted and attached to the VM. Of course, the information they give us. This is the report. So the report I open them. This is like technical and executive summary. They give us now whole report of the team, and then SOD is this one. So we have. Uh, let's make it uh, so we can see the whole thing. So they have indicator type, indicator, th thread type and source, for example the IP address, where they got it from, the information like a packet capped up, a ticket and all of that. Then the containment and threat intel creation. We discover military IP server as a threat actor host. As I said, this room you might confuse when you read these things. You think wh where they came, f you came from. All this information was done in these rooms, and I think it's also in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the other rooms where uh, where we use uh, Splunk. The Another malicious IP has been noted with a link to uh, this tal zero next. I saw this somewhere. Uh, what is it? So somewhere, somewhere. Uh, it's somewhere one of the rooms. Yeah. Two different versions of malicious dropper has been discovered. Remember, the other rooms are doing that. Then eradication, remediation, recovery. We discard the SSF compromise for the particular in effect. So we create this room. We are referring to this room. Leaked and the threat actor discover password reuse. This is where we've been able to get the password there later on for the SSH. Uh, and then Jenkins platform convert discover a shared little extraction script. Yes, I remember this one. Uh, exfiltration action objective so they were uh, those there then hijack switch admin uh, domain remember if you did this room you will know uh, they added to the etc hosts to exfiltrate to their domain the backup swift.com vm and addition uh, threat IP, uh, uh, adding the ip address to etc host so we did this in this room so you need to follow this room. So this room it's not uh, alone, so you don't get confused. What malicious file type has been found with two different versions? Of course they told us here, we already did this. It's a dropper. And then, what's the name of the malicious file found in Jenkins server? Compromise... Jenkins platform compromise discovery extraction that was this file. We discovered it in that room before. Now, if we go now to now, they give us this information, technical summary, and all of that. In a technical summary, is a summary of relevant finding about incident uh, form detection. That's where more technical stuff happen. The executive summary usually doesn't have a lot of technical stuff. It's more like a summary, depending on the severity of the compromise. Sometimes, C-suite may want to know more about affected business and macro sense as well. A summary of the impact of compromise. Did we lose money? Did so almost all this stuff. So it just that you have to read to write it. Where is that? Uh, let me let me go. You can see here executive summary or is the on 13. Michael Scott received an email from and you can see here is about uh, they add in technical stuff already. So uh, that's why the question later on say in the draft it seemed that analysts include a number of technical details that are not necessarily needed in an executive summary. The first paragraph alone has two details. Now this is a rewritten paragraph. Now if you look to this rewritten paragraph, there is technical stuff will been removed. So mm -hmm. they took out this uh, because this is more technical. An executive doesn't need to know the exact of this. And then you have uh, the ticket number. You shouldn't all of it have it here. So because this is technical stuff, and this is the executive summary, so we shouldn't have technical too much technical stuff in it. And you can see it's already there too. Now, what is the what technical detail in the fifth paragraph of the draft can be removed? The answer is the entire string that you be removing. 
beer moving. So if we go to the fifth paragraph, so we have this paragraph also have that image, the third one, the fourth, the fifth, this is the fifth. So the fifth it says, so confirm that email control weren't able to be to detect the initial phishing campaign because of a, of a previously identified and patched variability in the form of missing email security. You can see now they already had in this because an executive person might not know what is SPF, DKM, or DMARC. So basically, this is also should be uh, should be removed. So you need to put the whole thing so that you now in in technical summary must be a technical summary must be concise while remaining effective in tracking the important artifact among others. So now if we go back now our technical technical start. Now the technical is fine, you can put technical stuff on it. Now uh, the question is in the draft, the third paragraph talk about discovery of numerous artifacts via the review of packet capture. What is those artifacts? Separate them with comma, technical one, technical two. So now we're looking for what exactly they got from packet part, uh, capture, like Wireshark or something. If you look at the source here, this is adding involved, this is get information by ticket, visual, thread, crowd, ticket, ticket, ticket. We have packet capture here, and we have packet capture here. So we have two. The first one is an, an IP address, so that was the first one. Then the next one that they got with capture it is this one. So that's how they detect the dropper.xe. Remember, this is more like uh, reading the report. The fourth paragraph talk about Swift spend domain being hijacked to host the threat ACTAX filtration IP. The fourth IP address is the fourth. One, two, three, okay. This is the fourth. Finally, Sok was able to finally trace the threat act activity to the company Jenkins server. Remember, we did this where it was found out that the threat actor has already compromised the server with the platform being manipulated to host shared Linux federation that's the backup script uh, that the Jenkins service account has been turned into backdoor has been hijacked to host the threat actor X federation IP remember in this room we're not trying to do to solve anything we're just reading reports so the question is how did the investigation find out about this? The answer is the entire, so, so basically we need to know this. If you look thread type here, we say expression script hijacked domain hijacked IP. Uh, no, uh, hijacked domain exfiltration IP because you talk about exfiltration IP uh, domain being hijacked. So be, these two, how they know it, the source of their information, remember this colon is the source. So their information came here and they wrote it, pivoting from, uh, of course how the, the process done is, of course you need to do the other rooms to, to follow the story, how the story started. So basically this is the one, uh, more like a report things. So now if you get, this one is more like unit, unique threat intelligence, the SUD that, we have created is a primary source for threat and digital unique to SSF. Remember that these are trace specific advice that your environment has already faced. So basically now it's like how to do uh, to catch them. This step will prove how to process the IR uh, incident response. Process are cyclic indicate this indicating the source. So basically what happened all this information we have now we need to end, uh, to uh, in the SOC detection mechanism to do that there's a lot of things so this can be a shift. sigma is uh, and this example is using sigma so basically detect download of xe5 from so basically now after we got our threat now we need to add this so next time we can detect it so it doesn't uh, we don't get compromised so you see, I think he's adding the IPs here. 
product is Windows. The content of uh, so they detecting these two websites, and then extension.xe. So this is a Sigma. These are not a, uh, all the rooms in uh, Trihack me are in Sigma. So this is just a little introduction. The signal that we came up with from the sum of the tiers is very simple and straightforward. Yeah, the additional layer of detection that it gives. So this IP one triple eight. Where is it? This one. One thirty two, and then one thirty eight forty one. This one. And then we detect uh, the dot x. I think to do the, the drop a file. Okay, they're using no sigma, so that's a sigma format. In the sigma rule that we have created, what is the log source category? Log, so if you, this is the... This is just quick things about sigma, you need to, for more sigma, you need to do other rooms and try hack me. So this is the room, guys, I uh, hope you like it. And then uh, you get a badge for this. What's the badge? I forgot about it. Let me see. The best responder, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you very much and have a good day.